I'll be honest, I didn't expect to love Bermuda as much as I did. I've always thought about going simply because of how quickly I could get there from New York City. Only a two hour flight to paradise? I am in. But there's so much more to this island than resorts, yachts, and a famous cruise port. My friend and I stayed for three nights at an Airbnb run by two born and raised Bermudians, both of whom showed us more hospitality than a five-star hotel could ever. Their generosity made it clear that the beauty in Bermuda isn't just what meets the eye, but what meets the heart. We spent each day beach hopping around the tiny island, taking the famous pink public buses to all of our destinations. And we were blown away by every single beach. Beaches with turquoise waters, beaches with blue gradient layered waves, beaches that look like melted glaciers, and best of all, beaches that were just never too crowded. It felt like we would never have the time to explore them all. And as daylight fell, we were blessed with beautiful sunsets and serenaded with an orchestra of island frogs every night. I don't know if it was the pastel-hued buildings or the early 2000s R&B that kept playing everywhere, but being in Bermuda felt like being stuck in time. It made me so happy to think of a time when life was actually good, an era when there was peace, love, and not a care in the world for things that didn't serve us well. I made the most blissful memories there and plan on revisiting this special island again someday. And if you come, I hope this vlog can inspire you to ground your feet outside of the resorts and fill your heart with the real beauty that this island offers. Enjoy! Hello, I am in Bermuda. Me and Megan, my friend, just flew over here and we just checked into the Airbnb behind me. It's a guest unit that is um, attached to the main part of the house here and the hosts so far are super, super sweet. They're a Bermudian couple that has lived here on the island all their lives and their hospitality has just been amazing. But we're gonna be here in Bermuda for the next three nights and we're just honestly gonna have a lovely relaxing girls trip bouncing around beaches eating some good seafood and just relaxing we are going to take the bermuda breeze which is the bus system here um, they actually have a really really good public transportation system here in bermuda you can pretty much get anywhere around the island and because the island is so small it also doesn't take very long to get from one destination to another we got a four-day unlimited bus pass and we're gonna be taking the bus around. But first, let me show you guys the Airbnb that me and Megan are staying in. Okay, so you walk in here and we have a very lovely kitchen here that we can use to cook, but me and Megan are probably not going to cook. Um, it's just nice to have and we wanna make some coffee in the morning. I brought some of my own drip coffee so we can enjoy coffee out in the garden. Have a lovely dining table here and then this is actually going to be a sofa bed that I will be converting it to and I'll be sleeping here. And then we've got Megan. Here we have a supply closet and then the bathroom is pretty spacious. The hosts, like I said, are super, super hospitable. They left us the Bermuda bus schedule, which we're going to be bringing with us. And then they also picked up the four day bus passes for us prior to us coming here and we just paid them back. So yeah, we are going to get going and start our day.
came to this Jamaican grill to get some small dinner sets. We got chicken and rice and peas. <laughs> and curry chicken. And curry chicken. I got brown stew chicken. Looks so good. And it's a little bit more of a hidden location. You have to walk about 15 minutes over here. And it's right by the water. Yeah, we have a gorgeous view of the ocean. We're probably gonna walk by the water later. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like all the different stuff. Uh, okay. A lot of stuff here in one. Hello. Hi guys. Excuse the look, I just um, got out of showering and we are actually getting ready to watch the sunset from this patio here. What's really sweet though is that the Airbnb host, Velma, she, um, she's actually gonna take us to the dock to get even up close and personal to the sunset so that we can take some good photos, which is so, so sweet of her. She's so nice. So I changed very, very quickly and um, the sun is almost setting, so we're gonna go catch the tail end of it. Okay. Yay! We're gonna be in a Bermudian car. Well, not a Bermudian car, but like a local's car. Wow, look at these. Mm. You ready? official morning here in Bermuda. We enjoyed some coffee this morning in the Rose Garden and our Airbnb host Lou was just giving us some tips and recommendations and directions to all the places that we're going to today. And now we're just waiting for the bus to come. We're gonna go get some breakfast. The weather is also looking amazing, thankfully, today. So we're just gonna go and hit up some beaches. This church behind me here was built in 1874 and it was intended to replace another church that's nearby called St. Peter's Church 
but unfortunately as soon as they started building it there were various complications such as the split in the congregation of the church building society and then also there was another historic monument that got burnt down so then they had to divert funds to take care of that leaving no funds to finish this church but now it's considered as a historic monument and a very 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 cool thing to come and see so if you are in the neighborhood I suggest coming here to just check out the unfinished church. so far just relaxing and enjoying the turquoise blue super clean and clear water it's really relaxing here and the water is gorgeous just so so beautiful everyone come to bermuda everyone, at least once in their life yes everyone come to bermuda i love that it's not like super crowded too yeah it's true yeah there's a lot of hidden places too mm -hmm. And now we're just gonna have some burgers here at Tobacco Bay Grill. Our Airbnb host actually told us that this place is really good and it's right where the beach is. Lunch with a view. Had to get the signature Bermudian cocktail, a rum swizzle. Tastes like sunset in a cocktail with rum. Yum. Must get when you're here. We are waiting for the bus now. We're gonna head to another beach called Clear Water Beach. I'm sure it's gonna be just as amazing. I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but the bus system here in Bermuda isn't on Google Maps. So you wouldn't be able to put in Google Maps where you wanna go from and to you kind of just have to look at the map or just kind of figure it out but luckily it's really easy and just now we actually just asked someone in a grocery store how to get to Clearwater Beach and they were super super nice. Everyone here has been just extremely above and beyond friendly and I am a little bit red, got a little sunburnt, pretty sunburnt actually. So I'm gonna put some aloe vera on later but yep, waiting for number six. Wow, first impressions of this beach, it is so calm. It's like connected with an actual park behind. So you can be on the grass or you can be on the sand, which feels super soft. It's a lot less crowded than earlier's beach, but a lot wider. And the water seems a little bit more calm too. But yeah. Right, make plans to the sunrise and sleep till noon. I'll take you to the beach. 
Could our toes wet and leave after sunset? And I would do it all again Cause I don't want my day to end with Always running in circles Try to make up my mind Should I ask you? I'm too scared of ask But I'll probably ask you this time It's been a couple of hours <laughs> A couple of days Trying to choose what I wanna do Wow, our own secluded beach Wow, look at this beach we are literally the only ones here and it is absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> wow! Time for a little dip, our last one before sunset. And I would do it all again Cause I don't want my day to end with Boy, you're running in circles You're always on my mind Bye-bye, most gorgeous beach in the world We gotta go and catch the bus now Oh, I don't wanna leave I spent a couple of hours And a couple of days Thinking that maybe I read the wrong signs And that you just don't feel the same we got lucky and we got seated right by the water. Look at this. Dang, the day just keeps getting better and better. It's been a beautiful and very tiring day of beach hopping. Three beaches, then we saw a rainbow. Then we had a pretty unfriendly bus driver. And then now we're at Wahoo Bistro and Patio. So we're gonna have some seafood and end the day on a beautiful note. Starting our last full day in Bermuda, I've got this t-shirt on my shoulders because I'm severely burnt <laughs> and it hurts so much. So I can't be having my backpack straps rub on my pain here. Um, anyways, we're heading to Hamilton now to get some food and then we're gonna do some beach hopping just like yesterday. <laughs> prices of coffee it's insane a mocha is nine dollars definitely not a cheap place to travel we're also in a pretty nice brunch spot as well my ten dollar cold brew has arrived Megan got a chai which comes with this little shot of water it's very Italian and then a little biscotti so we are at a KFC we're not going in there but KFC is actually the only chain here in Bermuda because every other restaurant here in Bermuda is actually like a small business and not a chain and this is the only chain restaurant here. Very, very interesting. They probably have good fried chicken because we've been seeing a lot of wild chickens just roaming around, so it's probably better. We are gonna take the bus now to Elbow Beach.
Bought these two chairs for $20 a piece and now we're just going to enjoy this lovely view of the beach which is very turquoise and beautiful and I'm a little hungry but the food here is really expensive thank god the Airbnb host um, gave us some deluxe nut mix so I'm just going to have this as a little snacky night here in Bermuda. We had a really really long day today and yesterday so it was really nice to come back and take some nice long cold showers because Megan and I are still sunburned like lobsters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was very fun and we've been discussing how beautiful the beaches here in Bermuda are. They are breathtaking and what's really cool is that each beach really has its own characteristics that make each one different, which we love. Each beach is so easy to get to, very accessible and not overcrowded at all, except for Horseshoe Cove at the end, um, but that was because of a cruise ship. So yeah, highly recommend the beaches here. They're so beautiful and the people are even more beautiful. Now we're going to have some wine to wrap up our night we've also been listening to the island's orchestra which is the frogs and megan actually told me a fun little fact about how the more frogs you hear the healthier the environment is because that means that the frogs are thriving in the environment which in this case is the island lushness and the more unhealthy an environment is, or if it's dying off, the less frogs there will be. So the less sound you'll hear. Now I'm going to pour some wine. Sure. Oh, so we 